I hope you're ready for a challenge because this one is all guaranteed to be lots of fun. Uh, this is going to be a dagger, but it's going to have an actual flat blade, more like an actual dagger. I've got a 160. I've blown up a little more than halfway. I've got a black 260 here for the handle that I've blown up also a little more than halfway. We're not going to use all of it. And then I've got a gray 360 that I've reverse inflated. There's the nozzle end with the knot to about eight or nine inches. And that's where the fun's going to come in. So we're going to start by making a handle. And you can make whatever handle you want. If there's another handle that I, and one of the others that I've made, you can do that. I'm going to make the simple short, short handle. So I'm going to move kind of quickly through this part. Bubble, pair of pinch twist. Looks like I've already shown you this. If you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch it to get more on it if you like. So a pair of pinch twist, handle, another pair of pinch twist, and then our two pieces that stick out to the side here. Not real big. I'm going to make them shorter for the dagger than I did for the sword. So a little bubble, pinch twist, and another bubble the same size as the other one. Make your first extension on one side. Your hand guard is what that is. And then we're going to repeat the process on the other side just like that. Secure that in place. And then we're going to pop the excess off and secure that at the end. And again, you can use whatever handle you like for the dagger. If there's another handle that you'd rather use, you can use that. And there's a quick little handle that I've made. We're going to set that aside. Now is where the real fun begins. We're going to take our 160. And we're going to fold it in half. And I actually want this to be a little shorter. So I'm going to shorten it up. There's about when it's folded. That's about 8 or 9 inches. That's about what you want. So I'm going to put a twist there. And let the excess air out of that. And then I'm going to tie these two ends together. What you essentially want is a little loop. in the end, so I've got just a little loop like that, that however the length of your dagger, you will have long you want it to be, but the trick to this is you want to make sure it's going to be no longer than a third to a fourth or so the length of an inflated 360 or 350, whichever you'll be using, because what we're going to do is double stuff this inside of this. If you've seen the tongue technique, this is the same thing. Now we're going to take this and fold it in half. And I'm going to start with the rounded end here. You can start with either end, but I just like to do this because this book is at the other end. Personal preference. Now we're going to take our folded 160 and start pushing it into the end of our 360. I'm going to lay it on the table here and sort of force it in. Normally when I do this, I would push it against my body, but then you couldn't see it very good. So if I lay it on the table, you can sort of see how I'm pushing that. I'm just forcing that up inside there. So I'm pushing that in. And then when you do this, you're going to have to make sure to hang on to over here to see where my left hand is. I'm, so that if I let go, otherwise it'll want to pop back out. And just work it all the way up inside there. I'm just trying to grab on the sides. It's a tight squeeze. Now you want to get it completely. Now I've got my finger. You can see where I've got my finger pushed in. And if you look very faintly, you can see the silhouette of the other balloon in there. Now what I need to do is pop this outer piece. And I'm just going to cut it in there. So you end up with that there. A giant swollen finger. Then pull your finger back out. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to trim this really close to the end here. You can't see it very well, but there's the end. I don't know if you can see me rolling that back or not. Then I'm going to take... And where I've trimmed that, I'm going to just roll that back. Once you get it started, then you can just roll it all the way back along there until you get to the end. And you really don't have to do much else. I'm going to squeeze that end a little bit. And what you end up with, you can see how it's now flat from the side, but it's got width that way. If you see how I've got wrinkles, when you roll that back, it forms a strange little nozzle. If I put a little puff of air in there, now I can push that up to the end. And now I've got those wrinkles out. 
And then I just need to trim the end of this. We don't need to reinflate that at all because you want it to stay flat like that to make your blade. Then you just take this in and twist it into the two pinch twists there on your handle. Make sure that's going to secure. And presto, you've got a little dagger with an actually flat dagger-like blade.